without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 video guys What we're gonna be watching today is some draft champions But what I want to talk about is actually the competitive side of Madden So if you guys don't know esports is definitely taking off not just in the Madden community But uh, quite frankly not in the Madden community actually unfortunately and that's some of the things that I want to talk about today uh, But if you guys watch like League of Legends CSGO smite Call of Duty things like that you guys are probably noticing that there are a ton of really huge tournaments that are happening. I mean, we're talking about these games actually selling out legitimate stadiums. Like, I'm talking football stadiums or, you know, hockey stadiums, basketball stadiums, those size of stadiums. They have fans there watching these kids play competitive esports. I shouldn't say just kids because they're adults too, of course. But um, especially like in the Call of Duty community, at least, it's mostly kids that are under 18 years old, actually, or around 18 years old, I guess. Um, you know, somewhere between now 18 and 21, I suppose, in the Call of Duty community because they changed the age restrictions. But anyway, um, you're seeing just a huge growth in esports, and you're starting to see big players jump into it as well. I mean, internationally, you're talking about sponsors like Coca-Cola and uh, Samsung and, and things like that. But uh, even within just the, the United States, you're starting to see guys like Mark Cuban get involved. And that's huge. I mean, if Mark Cuban's getting involved, obviously there's something that could potentially be done here. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about competitive Madden. I want to talk about growing the competitive Madden scene. I'm not somebody who is a competitive Madden player, unfortunately. I just don't have the time. And quite frankly, I don't have the stick skills to be able to compete with the top guys in the world. But what I want to do is really talk about the way that we can, you know, come together as a community and help grow that because I enjoy watching competitive Madden. When there's one of the competitive Madden streamer streaming or making a YouTube video, I'm almost always watching it. It's just super entertaining for me. I'm not even necessarily watching it to, you know, learn how to play or anything like that. I just enjoy watching the best of the best compete in something. So in competitive Madden, unfortunately, it's pretty much exclusively underground right now. Um, I mean, obviously, we've seen EA make the Madden challenge, and they also had Madden Nation back in the day. But in my opinion, esports just isn't being capitalized on enough. I mean, for me, I think that there needs to be more of a focus from the, the entire community, but especially specifically from EA on esports and competitive Madden. I mean, right now, we basically don't have much of anything going from them, unfortunately. Um, but the way that I would do it, I, I think one of the big things that we need to consider is the actual game modes, because I don't really feel that there's a, a great game mode right now for competitive Madden. Standard teams are way too boring. Like, seriously, who wants to watch Seattle versus Seattle every single game? And that's unfortunately kind of how it is. Maybe not exactly always Seattle versus Seattle, but a lot of people pick the same teams and you just don't see much variety. And unfortunately, in its current state anyway, Mutt isn't really a very competitive game mode either because there's a lot of uh, different... I don't know if, if you'd call them sliders or what, but there's a lot of different settings that are set up in Mutt that aren't exactly geared towards competitive. And a lot of people, not to mention, would just say that it's pay to win. You know, you spend a lot of money, you get a really good team, and uh, it's very difficult to compete against that, even if you're a good player. So... I think they're doing a good job with Draft Champions, and I'm glad that they went that way as far as making the uh, the Madden Challenge in Draft Champions, but I do think that we need to make improvements to that as well. They did make a big improvement, by the way, uh, to the gold base players. I think that that made things a lot better, but uh, again, it still needs to be changed a little bit. Some things that I think I would like to see from them if they want to grow the competitive scene... I think Draft Champions needs to have its own setting, like uh, the competitive or the ranked Draft Champions needs to have an all Madden difficulty, first of all. That'll cut down on some of the BS that we see. Uh, it'll cut down, I think, on uh, various different things such as like dropped interceptions or, uh, you know, rocket catches or, you know, aggressive catches, whatever you want to call them. But another thing that I would like to see them do in addition to changing just the difficulty, the standard difficulty, I would personally like to see it where you get to choose your coach and your playbook. So, like, for example, if you're starting the game right now in Draft Champions, you pick a coach and you only get to choose from three, and you might not be comfortable with any of those playbooks. You know, they might all be bad playbooks, quite frankly, and you might get three bad coaches. And yes, that does add to the randomness of it, and I guess that kind of helps in some ways, but I personally would like to see people running playbooks 
that they're comfortable with. You know, people that, uh, you know, they work on this one playbook and, and that's something that they do on a regular basis and they're really, really good at it. I think that's where you're going to get the best competitive gameplay from. So that's something that I would personally like to see. And I think that would make a big improvement. Um, because you would not only get to choose your your uh, playbook, but you'd also get to choose your base styles as well. And then hopefully we could maybe make it where the draft champions would then kind of, uh, you know, draft or, or give you kind of better players toward the styles that your coach has. I think that that might be a little bit beneficial. The other thing that I think needs to happen beyond just the gameplay uh, tuning is I think that we need to see more promotion within it. Um, I'm not just talking about EA themselves either. I think that EA did an okay job of promoting the uh, the Madden Challenge. They they went out of their way to tweet it out and to put it in the game as far as loading screens and things like that. But I would also like to see them go after some of the big players in the YouTube and Twitch community. And I'm not talking necessarily about myself. I don't think that I'm on that level. What I'm talking about are people like, you know, your uh, your Tokes, your Cullenbergers, your Mr. Golden Sports, Antwo the Boss, huge YouTubers like this who could really come together to not only just, uh, you know, make the thing more exciting if they were actually going to contribute, but I actually think that having them promote it within their community, within the people that watch their videos would definitely help increase the streaming numbers um, and, and potentially give us a lot better exposure to you know higher numbers, which would then give us exposure to better advertisers as well. And advertisers, of course, will help create a bigger prize pool for future tournaments. And uh, you know, and of course, bigger prize pools then lead to better players because people can actually spend more time doing this if they're going to win and potentially get uh, you know a good chunk of money. If they're going to win fifty thousand dollars in a tournament, that can set them. Up up for a year or two depending on you know how long you stretch it of course but uh you know doing stuff like this i think would uh it would definitely help expand the amount of money that we have coming into the competitive madden scene and it would be great if we even had non-ea sponsored events so like you know just like a standard tournament in your general you know area of the country or something let's say i were to help put a tournament on with a few other people we could definitely do something where we had like a 200 dollars buy-in tournament using this new competitive uh draft champions game mode that's on all madden difficulty and you get to pick your own playbooks and stuff i think that that kind of stuff uh would definitely help you know we could do like a 200 hundred dollar buy-in tournament and even if you only get 50 people for that that's we're talking about a ten thousand dollar prize pool that's pretty huge so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i want to hear from you guys though what do you think about potentially you know doing something to kind of increase the competitive madden nature especially as we move into madden 17 i mean do you guys have any other ideas do you like the ideas that i put in here let me know in the comments section below thank you guys so much for all the support hopefully we see more competitive madden here in the next year i hope you guys will help me out with promoting that and getting it in eac ears thank you guys again hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you again soon